On the takeoff roll from the right, here comes Greg Connell and Gary Ward. We're going to do a little bit of formation flying here with two totally different aircraft. You've got Gary Ward in his 350 horsepower monoplane, the MX2. You have Greg Connell in the Wolf Pits, 400 horsepower, and two sets of wings on it. Completely different aerodynamics, completely different flight characteristics, and yet these two pilots are going to do the fine and fancy art of formation flying. Now they're going to come in from behind us here. As they're coming in, you can hear those propellers singing. It's Craig Connell in the lead with the Wolf Bits. Gary Ward in trail position off to his right. Smoke is on. Here we go. Crossover break right there. Heading off in different directions. That's Gary Ward on the left. Greg Connell on the right. Biplane versus monoplane here. They're going to be coming at each other at a speed of in excess of 500 miles per hour. Watch Closing pass. Pulling onto the vertical. That's Greg Cannell on the left. Here's Gary Ward on the right. They're going to do a half cube and watch for the rolls out. There they are. Another opposing pass. Going to pull up onto the vertical now. That's Gary on the left. Greg on the right. Gary's up there coming back down after going up onto the vertical and doing some rolls. Exit here. Going back up onto the vertical, rolling the airplane, got it stick hard over to the right, throw some rudder and elevator in it. Tumbling the airplane around, hangs it on the propeller. There's the whip stall coming through all of his own smoke. with the Wolf Pits, 400 horsepower. On to the vertical there. Look at the vertical performance of this airplane as Greg rolls it around. You want to go on that? Wait for the airspeed to die off a little bit. It's going to bleed it off, bleed it off, bleed it off. There's the rudder kick. Hammerhead stall turn. He's going to roll it on the way down. And he's going to exit stage right, coming in from the left. Here's Gary Ward with the MX-2. Going to pull over the top. Let's keep an eye on him. He's pushing now. Got the airplane at stall speed. Watch for it. Going into a torque roll there. Hanging the airplane on the propeller. Watch for the whip stall. He's got a good one going there. Oh, she's coming back to all that stuff. There's the nose dropping through. I'm going to roll it around a little bit. And he's going to exit and show back. Meanwhile, from the right, here comes Greg Cannell. He's got the throttle all the way up on his It's Pulls up onto the vertical. Rolling the airplane around. He's got that stick against his left knee as the airspeed is bleeding off. He's got to be over a thousand feet by now. And lets the airplane fall through. Smoke is back on. He's going to roll the airplane around in the park. Here's show right. Gary Ward coming in. Part of the vertical again with the MX-2. Coming over the top. Let's keep an eye on him. Tumbles the airplane nose over tail. Oh, that's a wild drive. Coming in 
from the right. He's up high this time. He's going to roll the airplane as he's dropping down, picking up a whole lot of airspeed there. Back onto the vertical again, pulls up over the top, and continues to pull over the top there. Gary Ward coming in from the left with the MX-2. Pulls up onto the vertical, holding the vertical, going to wait for the airspeed to bleed off. And he pushes over the top, the up bump, and he goes right into a flat inverted spin. Here comes Greg Cannell to circle Gary as he's in a flat inverted spin. Come on, Gary, let's get her out. And there he is. Oh, brother, let me tell you. Flat inverted spin, very tricky maneuver to get out of. Greg Cannell heading off to the left. Gary Ward coming in from the right. Setting up for their next maneuver. Gary looks like he's got his airplane slowed down a bit. Rolls the airplane inverted. Here comes Greg Cannell in from the left. pushing the stick forward. That is an outside micro loop. Look at how small that is. All the parts going to Gary's brain. That is painful. And right through the sun. Now it looks like they're going to rejoin here in just a moment. That's a lot of action going on with these two guys, and they're keeping each other in sight and constant communication between each pilot. Here we go, coming in from the right, Fred Cannell in the lead, Gary Ward playing follow my lead. Fred pulls up, here comes Gary. Looks like they're going to do a loop. Yep, they sure are. Whoa, look at that. He, he faked me out. Formation half Cuban 8. Let's see if they're going to do the other half now. They're in perfect position to do it. Watch for the rollout. There it is. Great Canal rolling the airplane. Both race carry. Okay. Maneuver here. It looks like they're going to do another Cuban. Nope. Going vertical. Here comes the hammerhead. Well, this is more like a wing over, actually. What they did there was they kept the airspeed going. For wing over, you kick the rudder, you got a little bit of airspeed. For the hammerhead, you're waiting for just about all of it to die off. And now they're going to join up with their signature maneuver. The squirrel cage. This is a tricky maneuver. Greg Cannell in the lead with the wolf pits. Gary Ward right behind him with the MX-2. They're going to come in here. Greg is going to go. Turn. There we go. Greg rolls inverted. Here's Gary. Smoke on both airplanes doing a squirrel cage. a lot of skill and a lot of practice to do that. And by the way, if you're thinking that any of these pilots at any time are out of control, you are absolutely wrong. Each of these maneuvers is precisely practiced. They know exactly what their airplane is doing at all times. This is precision aerobatics, ladies and gentlemen. Nowhere near what used to be considered stunt flying.
can't substantiate this, but I heard a rumor that there may be a monster, a dinosaur, at the Greenwood Lake Air Show. I'm not sure, but I think it's possible. And by the way, I wanted to point out to y'all that out there in the middle of the uh, airfield here, right next to the taxiway, just about an air show center, well actually to the right of it a little bit, that's my new car. I bought that today, best $2 I ever invested. I need a new car. I like having a new car. And this one has special custom features to it. You know, I hate cleaning windshields, so it's been removed. <laughs> hey, if it's not there, it can't get dirty, right? Greg Cannell lining up for his landing right now. And here comes Gary Ward. Oh, I think he's going to buzz in. Yes, he is. Oh, <laughs> uh, Gary Ward likes to have a lot of fun, and he and Greg Cannell got together on this act. And I believe it's official. I do believe they're having a tremendous amount of fun. Here's Greg doing his idea of a burnout. Gary Ward is up there just hanging around. Oh, man. Once again, the runway is 0-0 zero, zero out there. For those of you who don't know, 0-0 zero, zero stands for zero altitude and zero visibility. Basically, it means you're fogged in. It's one of 100,000 aviation terms out there. Here comes Gary Ward setting up for his landing. Here's Greg Cannell taxiing in. Ladies and gentlemen, don't forget to wave your program, wave your hat, wave your arm. Greg Cannell mentored, of course, by Gary Ward. It certainly shows. These two guys get together and they have a ton of fun. Why do they need to go up there, Dad? Uh, make it 